Now that we have our plugin installed for Valheim, what we're going to do is configure it. So we're going to hit Edit Config. And under Server Start Parameter, you'll want to copy and paste this code off from the web page. That's makeyourownserver.com, uh, Val, look up Valheim. And you can just copy and paste it or pause the video and you can type it in. Either way, your password needs to be at least five characters. Also, you'll need to make sure the ports are open for the server port and the query port. So you'll have to do that in your router, and there's instructions for that on makeyourownserver.com as well. Then we're going to start the server. Just click start. Now this one takes a minute to load up. So I did that already. Okay, I believe it's fully loaded. Yeah, duration. So now we go to Steam Query Port and see if Steam knows about our server. And yes, it does. Now the game name will never match what you've set the game name to be in this. This reports uh, something out of the base server file. I've never noticed this to match yet. Okay, well, let's see if we can find our game. Okay, now we're going to join, and we're going to go to Community. And let's see if we can find our server. Okay. When you search for your server the first time, it's going to show up under community. After you've logged into your server one time, it's going to show up under recent. And if you favorite it, it'll show up under favorites. I think the X is there because I didn't type in the password last time I tried to join. And server, new peer connected, sending global keys. So there we go. We are into the game. So that's it. Everything worked. Uh, another easy one. These Windows GSM servers are super easy to set up and pretty easy to configure in most circumstances. That's it, guys. Go start you a Valheim server.